On the record, it's taking you all over the world, but this is a thrill. On Friday, we went to the Grand Old Opry in Nashville to participate in a special night to raise awareness about breast cancer. Now, I had the honor of being a guest announcer and introducing the judge to the stage. I have the privilege, actually it's the thrill, to introduce to you the next act, the world-famous, spectacular Naomi Judge and, she made me rehearse, Wynonna. Now, while we were in Nashville, the spectacular judge went on the record. Honor me. Well, can I tell you, <laughs> yes, I you love can. the fact <laughs> that your tour is starting in Green Bay, Wisconsin, because I grew up right near there. Tell and everybody all your family. And if everybody in Green Bay doesn't show up, I'm going to be so mad at them. I'm so mad <laughs> at them. It's probably the big thing going on that particular day in Wisconsin, so we're hoping that we're the big deal of the She's day. She's saying that because it's the day after Thanksgiving because when you're, everybody you're saying, really if Uncle Harold tells that story one more time, I'm Let's go see the Judds. We need to get out of the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But now say, do you realize what big stars you are? I don't, no, I don't get hanging out with her, you don't realize okay, how big you Here's the deal. Are. The day after Thanksgiving, you need to come see us because we will make your family look like damn royalty. <laughs> Do you guys have any any concept at all of how, how big you are? And no. What a big deal! I mean, I was, it was, I, I've lost twenty listen, pounds. Listen, what do you mean? We know certain things like when we did fanfare last year, fifty thousand Judd fans sang back to us, and that's what started the tour idea. Because we realized there's a whole new generation of Judd heads being born, and that excites me. Twelve year olds, literally in the meet and greet, and I said, "Do you know who I am?" And they were like, "Yeah." So in those moments, I do feel like important because at home, I'm not really that important. My teenagers are like, yeah, can I have some money and make me a snack? So when we get out there and we see all the generations on this tour, it's going to be awesome. Because what is the, the website so they can know to plan their day around it? We need to get that, huh? JudgeTour2010.com. And we are starting the day after Thanksgiving in Wisconsin. And we go 20 shows. Yeah, you need to come see us that night. That's opening night. That's when my dress will fall down. and She'll say really the, inappropriate things. <laughs> and we'll have to give her a memo. <laughs> and, you know, the follow spot will be over here while Nona will be singing in the dark. Mm -hmm. Everything that can go wrong goes wrong on opening night. And we love it because... Well, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> we're just live all the time. When people are around us, they don't know what we're going to do or be say. Afraid, be they don't know whether afraid. we're going to fight about something or disagree <laughs> or we're going to be, you know, hugging and crying. It's sort of Do like, you know? No. no. <laughs> like we didn't know what you were going to be like in this interview. We didn't know if you were going to be really serious and so far you've been delightful. And it's worked out. You were at and the Grand Ole Opry, so we're at home. This is our yes. You know, this is where I started out at 18. Mm -hmm. You know, the highwayman sitting in here, Johnny Cash, mm -hmm. sharing a dressing room with Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, and Tammy Wynette. Are you kidding me? You know, country, you can. It's country music. It's community. You know, when I watch you out there, you make it. I know. I think that. I think I wish I could do that. I mean, it looks fun. It is. it is, and people see themselves in us, because if you're mom's generation, you're my generation. If you're Ashley's generation, there is a jet for every generation because they relate to us. And they come up to us and they tell us their stuff, and I just survived breast cancer, or I, you know, just gotten a divorce, and your music saved, you know, me from going crazy. I mean, music is a healer. It's part of the backdrop of everyday life. I survived life. eight years on a stinking bus with you, ten. so... Excuse me, ten. Okay, ten. But on a serious note, when you realize that one out of eight American women are going to get breast cancer, we were very honored to be part of this. As a former nurse, mm -hmm. I know too much about it, unfortunately. And our first single, which we sang tonight for the first time, and rehearsed it once. I mean, you talk about... Just once? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We sang it together out there. That was the first time? <laughs> yeah. Really? Or was that a rehearsal? We kind of threw it together. <laughs> but that's what we do. We're in real life. So. But the point is, it's called I'll Stand By You. and. You know, I can't clean up the BP oil spill. I can't even watch the stuff on TV because it upsets me too badly. I want to do something. You can't tell me what but, to do. But when it comes, yeah. Thank These God are for major therapy. issues. But we can. Uh, we can show up and support. Do this whatever we, can, we do. can do in our small way to say, you know what? This shouldn't be going on. If Americans paid more attention to priorities, we could cure this disease. 
Are you guys ready for this tour? <laughs> no. What are you going to do? You've got to get ready. It's coming up. Two soon. weeks to put it together. Have you done anything to get ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm learning how to juggle list. my chainsaws, <laughs> and I'm teaching my animals tricks. I'm not going to get a straight answer out of her, so let me um, answer. I'm the mature one now. Uh, we start in the second week of November, and we have literally two weeks to pull it together. We know the songs. The good news is, thanks to the fans, we have plenty of hits. And all it's we have to do news, is decide. It is the decision between this song versus this song. And so we're asking the fans. We had the fans name the tour. We were asking them, like, I'll be in a store and I'll say, do you like rocking with the rhythm or have mercy? And I'm sort of jotting down my ideas. She jots down her ideas. We're doing, a lot, of, okay. we're doing a lot of work together towards trying to come up with the right blend of songs for me to do while she's, you know, backstage changing her wardrobe. Or cleaning your bus, making a little <laughs> tuna noodle casserole for a snack later. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I met you in a restaurant. I was having dinner with Sharon Osbourne. And you were really nice to me. I was kind of intimidated because you're one of those like mature women behind the camera, you know, news anchor. That is mature intellect. Legal. Can I tell you, I had like such a different, I had such a different thing on that. When I met you, here's what I thought. It was when I went out there a few minutes ago and you said that we met before, I thought, you remember me? Hmm. I thought out of all the Why people you meet, that? you remember, what? Why? Because you're the big star. But women stick together, and you're powerful, and you're mighty in your voice. And I love women who have, like when we did Oprah, People I just love the way she talks, the way you speak. and You don't understand, though. Sharon says, uh, she pointed you out at the other side of the restaurant. And I said, oh, really? And I go, look, and, I, and she said, do you want to meet her? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'd love to. That's completely different. See, that I wanted to meet you. Mind. I wanted anyway. to meet you. I think we all admire what we do because we realize the cost and the burden of the gift. It's a blessing and a burden. You know how it is. You know, I see your hair and I see you've gotten it lightened. I mean, I swim, we're always trying to improve and trying to get back to my original weight, eight pounds, 15 ounces, trying to be healthy, <laughs> trying to have boundaries, trying to have, you know. But we're all we're doing is trying to show other people that after all these years, I mean, God's given me a chance to be back with her. I didn't know that 15 years ago. We sang Luck and Build a Bridge last time. She walked off stage and never thought this would happen. <laughs> Now, there's so much more of our interview with the judge. We talked to them a really long time. Winona gives you the inside story in her new CD, which benefits the Wounded Warrior Project. And so where can you see all of the interview? One place, GretaWire.com. We're going to post the entire interview on GretaWire.com. GretaWire